Good morning, my friends. Today is Thursday, September 1st, first day of September. Um, it is Thursday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time. And just want to clarify, uh, if you watched last night, the, or if you attended our Be Formed uh, gathering, um, registration is, is not open. Uh, we're just doing something here at uh, St. Isaac Jogues for those who hadn't registered. So please don't call the diocese and want to register. Um, so sorry for that confusion. The registration was closed, um, but we're gonna we're gathering some people here at St. Isaac Jogues. Um, so just that clarification. Let's look at the gospel today. Uh, so Luke chapter five, crowds pressing in on Jesus. Um, he's standing in, uh, near the lake of Genezareth. So one thing I learned in the Holy Land is Lake Genezareth, uh, the Sea of Tiberias, and the Sea of Galilee are the same body of water. It's just different people have different names for the same body of water. So this is the Sea of Galilee. Two boats are out there. The fishermen had disembarked. They'd been out fishing and uh, they weren't able to catch anything. So Jesus uh, sits down with them. And now these are professional fishermen. Imagine someone coming to you in your profession and saying, okay, listen, you're not doing it right. Um, and Jesus says, put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Duk et altum is put out into the deep. Go to this place that maybe you're not comfortable. Maybe you feel like you know better, um, but cast into the deep. And Simon, the professional fisherman says, Master, we've worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command, I will lower the nets. So you can kind of hear, ah, I've tried this and it doesn't work. At the same time, this submission, okay, if you're asking me to do this, I'll try it. This humility, this willingness to listen to, to the Lord Jesus, even if we feel like we know better, that's that good spiritual place of, of, of humility and surrender. They did this and they caught a great number of fish. Their nets were tearing. And so they got their partners to come over, help them get all the fish. And Simon Peter, embarrassed, falls to his knees it says, depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. There's a great scene, one of my favorite scenes in The Chosen. I have the link on my written blog, and my blog is frburke23.wordpress.com, frburke23.wordpress.com. Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. Again, that, that humility, that recognition that here, I'm sorry, Lord, that I, I've, I've sinned. I feel like I knew better. And uh, everybody was astonished. And Jesus tells Simon, do not be afraid. From now on, you'll be catching men. So he goes from, you know, not really knowing Jesus to Jesus foretells he's going to be, you know, a priest. He's going to be the one uh, fishing for men. He becomes the first pope. And this cycle of encounter, invitation, discipleship, and sending it has happened over the last 2000 years many times this is what we call missionary discipleship this is peter's encounter coming to and meet jesus in a deep profound way jesus invites him to follow him his response is yes he then spends three years being formed in the faith and then jesus sends him out nothing that we receive from the lord is meant for us alone it's meant to be given we are all called to be fishers of men, if you will, to invite others into this. So as a, as a new pastor, I'm going to be looking at, you know, what are we doing to help people encounter Jesus? Are we being explicit about inviting people to follow him with their lives? Are you willing to leave some things behind, like they left their nets behind, leave things behind to follow Jesus? Um, then what are we doing to form them? And this is why we have uh, be formed. It's this ongoing formation to give people the tools so that when they're sent out, when they discern their gifts and talents and charisms, they have the tools to go out on mission to share the good news of Jesus Christ. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for inviting us to be your disciples. Help us to surrender in humility to your invitation to say yes, to be formed, to be molded into your image and likeness so that we can be sent on mission to go out and invite others 
into this life-changing encounter with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. I've got two of my favorite teams here in Mississippi State and the Cubs. And to you and to your family, yes, Buen Camino, which means uh, good journey. Have a good journey is what it means in English. God bless.